There. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be reading this story for the first time. To me, this is really funny. Like, I mean, just the headline. Like, this is some fucking funny shit, okay? I'm just saying, I like, this is funny, okay? This is funny, okay? So I'm just braced for impact. Get ready for the headline. It's really good, okay? Pentagon says it detected a Chinese spy balloon hovering over Montana. <laughs> spy balloon? Okay, so I just... Now, can someone remind me what fucking year it is, by the way? Does anyone know what year it is? The year is 2023. The idea... That... China would try to send a fucking balloon... To spy on Americans in Montana. Well, for what? What information are they going to get from a motherfucking balloon? That they couldn't get with, I don't know, phone data? Hell, Google Maps? Satellites? What information are they going to get with a motherfucking balloon that they can't get? in a much better way without getting caught. So I'm just asking that question. This shit is funny. I don't know what to tell you, man. A fucking spy balloon, yo. I mean, this is like, like this feels like, you ever play Fallout 3? Or uh, Fallout New Vegas, or you know, Fallout 1 or 2 for that matter. And like, uh, one of the big things of those games is like the cringy, hyper-propagandized American news articles, right? Cause you're in a post-apocalypse. Right, but you can like read newspapers that were contemporaneous to when the bombs dropped or whatever. And it's like all a bunch of like, you know, cringy, jingoistic propaganda about how China's evil. I see this shit. I'm like, yo, are we in a video game? Like, is this the proof of the simulation? Like, am I in Operation fucking Anchorage right now? Like, what is this fucking shit? Okay. The United States has detected what it says is a Chinese surveillance balloon that has been hovering over the northwestern United States, the Pentagon said on Thursday, a discovery that comes days before Secretary of State Antony J. Blinken's visit to Beijing. President Biden has chosen for now not to shoot down the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost it. Okay, keep it together. Keep it together. Okay. President Biden has chosen for now not to shoot down the balloon after a recommendation from Pentagon officials that doing so would risk debris hitting people on the ground, according to a senior defense official who is not authorized to speak publicly. The decision to publicize the discovery appears to put China on notice ahead of Mr. Blinken's Beijing visit, the first by an American Secretary of State in six years, during which he is expected to meet with President Xi Jinping. The sudden appearance of the balloon is bound to raise already escalating tensions between the two powers. Now, does anyone want to take bets on whether or not this balloon, one, is real? Is there any evidence of the balloon? Do we have a picture? Or two, that it's controlled by China? Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, like, I'm down to bet on both of those. Like, there might be a balloon there. It's totally possible. I'm also totally willing to believe that there is no balloon and they're just making the whole thing up. Like, both of them, I'm 50-50 on that, okay? I'm 50-50 on that. But whether or not this is a Chinese spy balloon that they sent, that just so happens to have been discovered a day or two before a visit with Chinese officials. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Like, to me, I'm calling bullshit on that, okay? So China was like, oh, great. We got a meeting with Tony Blinken in a week. Let's go send our spy balloon to Montana. <laughs> what? Why? Why? I'm just, I'm, I don't know, man. Critical thinking, I guess. 
The official said that while it was not the first time China had sent spy balloons to the United States, this one has appeared to remain over the country for loss for longer. Still, a senior administration official who spoke on the condition of anonymity said the balloon did not pose a military or physical threat. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. The balloon is non-threatening. Unless Biden shoots it down. <laughs> it becomes threatening. Oh my god, okay. Did not pose a military or physical threat and added that it had limited value in collecting intelligence. See, now this is what I'm saying, okay? Now again, we live in the era of TikTok. We live in the era of every cell phone. Did you know this, by the way? I don't know, I might be breaking news to some people. Every cell phone has a back door. They can basically be accessed by anybody. Anybody that knows how. Now, did you know that cell phone companies actually collude with governments to leave in software and hardware exploits in their phones? So companies like Google or Apple especially will find bugs tell the government about them and not fix them so that the government can use those bugs to steal your data. Now, oftentimes those bugs are, you know, leaked from the government or the company themselves. And they can also be, that information can be sold to other foreign governments. So you tell me in the era of fucking cell phones, China is going to send a balloon to Montana to collect information. Like, I'm so <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Like, I, I just... I don't know, man. I'm just, uh... I don't really, I don't really buy it. I don't really buy it. I'm gonna be honest. Another defense official said the Pentagon did not think that the balloon added much value over what China could glean through satellite imagery. That's also what I said. Pentagon officials said the balloon had traveled from China to the Aleutian Islands of Alaska and through Northwest Canada over the past few days before arriving somewhere over Montana where it was hovering on Wednesday. Canada's Department of National Defense said in a brief statement late Thursday that the movements of a high-altitude surveillance balloon were being actively tracked by North American Aerospace Defense Command. I'm glad that they're using all their resources on that. Which is a part of the U.S.-Canada military partnership. It added that the country's intelligence agencies were working with American partners to, quote, take all necessary measures to safeguard Canada's sensitive information. Canadians are safe, and Canada is taking steps to ensure the security of its airspace, including the monitoring of a potential second incident. Oh, fuck a second balloon. Yo, I want, I want there, I'm praying for there to be a second balloon. Like, I'm, <laughs> why can we, can we please, can we please, I need a sequel to this. I mean, <laughs> I need to see the second balloon. Someone show me the second balloon, please. Let it be real. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta manifest the second balloon into the into the world with positive energy. The Department of National Defense did not explain where or when the balloon had been spotted. I mean, you'd think that would be information that you have readily available when and where. It sounds like, you know, pretty easy to, to discern information. Um, you know, but hey. Where it might be heading or whether it was the same balloon that appeared high above Montana again. Yes, this, the second balloon. There's a second balloon. I'm so in. I'm so in. Fuck, it's real. It's real, folks. There's got to be a second balloon. <laughs> it's the same. There's multiple balloons. There's balloons within the balloons. Okay, check this out. It also did not explain the reference to a, quote, potential second incident. Officials with the department did not immediately respond to emails or phone calls seeking clarification. After initially telling a news conference that it had to check, that it had to check on the claims about the balloon, the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs said on Friday, it was an innocent mistake. 
The airship is from China. It is a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorologic, meteorological purposes. An unnamed spokesperson for the ministry said in a statement on its, on its website, Affected by the westerlies and with limited self-steering capability, the airship deviated far from its planned course, the Chinese side, regrets the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace due to force majeure, referring to a violation caused by forces beyond a party's control. It's a motherfucking balloon, folks. I don't... Like, I mean, I'm serious. Like, this is a really good example of why politics melts people's brains. And I'm talking about, like, governments, right? The idea that humans somehow are at the point where it's like, this is a geopolitical issue. Right? Okay, this is a geopolitical issue. A balloon... Getting carried in the wind is a geopolitical issue. Like, I mean... <laughs> Somebody help me out here. Like, this is like... Like, on a human-to-human -human level, without all the bullshit politics, without all the bullshit governments, right? Governments are fake anyway. On a human-to-human -human level, the only thing that you should do when you see a fucking balloon in the sky is like, Hey, does anyone know where this balloon is? Oh yeah, that's my balloon. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. And then you move on. Like, it's a fucking balloon. Like, I... I, I don't know why. I don't even know. And the U.S. is going to, like... There's, like, a memo leak or whatever that the U.S. wants to try to gum up the works with a uh, relationship to China to instigate a war. So fucking stupid, man. But I swear to God, if they try to start a war over a balloon, I mean... See, the, the main question is, are they going to be able to show the balloon at, like, the fucking UN? Or are they going to have to, like, get pictures? Like, I want to see Colin Powell bring in the fucking deflated balloon. And here we have the evidence, everybody. Like, uh, like, what the hell, man? It's a balloon. I just, anyway... There's a meeting of senior military defense officials. Like, they all sat down at a fucking table. And were like, we gotta have a serious conversation about this. What's going on? I just got called out of- My wife was in labor. Our baby is being born right now and you call me in here? What's going on? <clears throat> Sit down, Jack. There's a balloon in the sky? <laughs> like, I mean, what? Like, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> it's a fucking balloon. This is just a bunch of other garbage. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, so there's your... There's your news story. Talking about the news on today's show. It's a fucking balloon. I blows my mind. I'm sorry. Like... I... <laughs> God damn it. Alright. <clears throat>